Well, welcome back to the channel. It's a project I've been putting off for a while. I think it's time to get it done. This is, is an old hand-hewn beam out of a barn. That barn was about 150 years old when they took it down. What I've done is this face is sawn flat. And this back side is sawn flat. So what this is gonna be, I gotta trim the ends to the right length. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand this top all smooth. This is gonna be the top. And we're gonna lightly sand and wire brush this a little bit, these two surfaces. And we'll get that and put the boiled linseed oil on here is to finish and this is going to be a fireplace mantle when i'm done with it tammy wants it for in the house so make tammy happy we're going to get out and actually finish this project so i'll get to cutting this and bring you back okay we got the mantle cut to length and you can see the skill saw couldn't get that deep so I ended up using a hand saw to finish that cut but I, what I did I put my speed square up there and I'd run my saw against it so it'd be nice and square so there it is cut the length the fun part starts where we sand sand and sand and we take the belt sander of these ends they'll flatten right out for us but there you have it so far well I started sanding this all down getting the saw marks out of it you can see there's still some more but I broke the last belt to my belt sander, so I'm going to have to go to the hardware store and get some more sanding belts. Yeah, more, more with the belt sander. Then we'll get the finish sanders out here. But as you can see, I've gone from... See, that was the same as this. The belt sander made quick work of that. This I'm not worrying about because it's the back. All right, I'll go get some belts and we'll get back onto this thing. Hey, thanks for watching the channel. If you like what you're seeing here, sub up. Well, okay, it's now Saturday morning. I got all the sanding done. And you got to kind of find the balance of how much you want to remove off of this because it's hand hewn but now we're getting ready we're going to throw a coat of um, boiled linseed oil on here so I'll get her on there and bring it back and show you well we got the first coat on there letting it soak in boils linseed oil I got set in up on its back this is the top it's really setting off all the cracks in there and everything this is uh, black gum That's what this beam was or is it was a beam now it's going to be a fireplace mantle but she's soaking in there pretty good i'll put a couple coats on there nice thing about that boiled linseed oil once this is in place if you ever want to freshen it up just brush a coat on it there it is it's sitting on top of the existing mantle i put these little brackets here to hold it well 
But what we're eventually going to do is we're going to remove that old wooden mantle and leave the brick exposed, but put that uh, veneer stone floor to ceiling. And that, that'll take care of that crack because the chimney's all back there. But that's what we're up to. See you in the next one.